morning and it is day seven and as you can tell by my t-shirt and Orlando sign it distance if you can see it. It's a universal there. So not 100 percent but it's a good bit last universal day of trip. Um, we have got zero plans today in terms of what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna enter the Bossy Coast first. Uh, and then um, we'll forget on Hagrid's and then we're going to come across to Universal Studios and explore all the shops and everything we didn't do the other day. So uh, yeah, that's plan of action this morning. It is now 8.32, park opens at 9, so we're going to head to get through the scanners, head into a park and see what we can do. So, we will catch you in a so bit. So as you can see, we're just walking into Universal now. We're going left towards Islands of Adventure. We've just had a Starbucks. Um, Aaliyah's got this white, what's it, read tag? What's it, sir? I think it's a white chocolate macadamia. Macadamia, macadamia cream creamy summer. Really yeah, really nice. says it's very nice. I got a sausage and basically sausage that anyway. With egg on it. And then we've got two waters, which obviously I've filled the Pacific up. And they were 1521 for it all. Oh yeah, and Aaliyah got a dream bar. Just a little snack before we uh, smash for the coaster. So as you can see in the distance, we're here now. So we will take you along with us on our day. I bet you're not as excited as we are. Just had a gent um, who says, don't follow the normal queue, go this way. And um, this is the quickest way to uh, both coast and Agrid. So there's a separate queue down here, which I didn't even know about. Which, granted, is a bit longer, but it's going to the right place. So I'm excited for this. So as you can see, change of plan. I mean, sorry about me. It's all long gaff this morning, but yeah, change of plan. We are uh, not heading to Hagrid's because we literally got in for park opening. We're in queue. Walked as quick as we could and it were already at two hours. So we are on well we're gonna to head towards Velocicoaster, so it's showing a 25 minute wait. I mean whether it is or not is another thing. That's a cool little look for Agrids in background. I've not seen that view it before. Stay tuned to see the speed on. Agrids even. Not Agrids, Hogsmeade. But yeah, straight down to Velocicoaster now. So uh yeah, let's see what this is like. So on Velocicoaster, what they don't tell you is they, um, the, the smaller lockers, they are actually inside the ride. Um, whereas the big lockers, that in the store on the right, that you've got to pay for. So yeah, that's an handy bit of knowledge. Off Velocica, so what did you think? It, it was really good, and you know what? Some of the rides have made me feel really sick, and that one didn't all the way. It's fucking petrifying. Like, it was so if good. If you can get a picture of the, we bought I'm the going, picture. Yeah, we bought the picture. I mean, the fear on my face. My airline looks like I've aged about 70 years. Um, but we had to get a picture just for Elias face. So yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna try and find a toilet and fill us drinks up now. So catch you. So this is the picture we're on about. I don't actually look too bad, but look at Leah's face. Let me see if I can get it to focus. The fear, the fear in her face is unbelievable. She just needs a toilet now, but that is hilarious. So it was $25 including tax um, and on the receipt for it you get $5 off your uh, next purchase of a photo if you get one. So I don't think we will but if we do we'll get this next one for $20. So yeah, we're um, just waiting for Aaliyah and then we're going to crack on. We might even go straight across to Universal Studios now, I'm not sure. But we'll, uh, whatever we decide we're doing we'll take along with us. Just going through jungle, uh, we just walked by King Kong and it's a 10 minute wait. I have no idea what this ride is. 
um, but we're going to go and do it because it's 10 minutes, which in theory it'll be very, very close to a walk on. So I've still buzzing about that picture earlier because it's so cool, like honestly, it's funny as well. Um, so yeah, we're just going to do Kong, aren't we? And then uh, probably going to head to Hulk, maybe. So. What did you think? It's funny, but I think it's alright. I wouldn't. I think I'd do it again if we were a walk on. I don't think I'd queue for it. No, I, I think over 25 minutes. It was a good ride. Don't get me wrong. But over 25 minutes is pushing it a bit. Um, so I think we're just going to head to sprayers, see if there's any free. To absolutely uh, hammer some people, and then um, head over towards old, old section, see what that's looking like, and then we're probably going to head to Universal Studios, but. We're not going to get um, Hogwarts Express today, we're going to walk around and then I think as we're walking through City Walk we're going to get something to eat, aren't we? Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Come along with us peeps, because it is a red old one. And we're going to get some people so Let's have it. Here we go. This is Popeye's Big Badgers. Ten minutes if you want to get soaked. And I mean, when I say soaked, I mean drenched. But right there in front of you, the little boat is where you get the sprayers. It's looking kind of busy, so I might have to wait for a sprayer. But let me tell you, it is worth the wait. We are about to get some people here. So just in a 10 minute center of Popeyes just wrecking people, the amount of people that are screaming and I just think to myself, you know what you're getting yourself into on this ride, it is brilliant and summering. On that corner, if you've been here you'll know, and on that corner where it all slides off, some people get drenched on there, yeah. like literally drenched, but we are having a great time aren't we? So yeah. Just gonna walk up towards Old now, I think, see what's happening with that, and then uh, City Walk it is. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> this is what I'm on about. They are drenched. Oh, honestly, I'm like a big kid, I absolutely love it. Look at these unsuspecting people. Here we, here we, here we go. Go on, bang against the wall. Ah, they got away with it. They got away with it that time. Look it, got some more here. Ah, let's hope they get, let's hope they get soaked. I just find it hilarious. Ah, oh, no. Got away with it. Never mind. Yeah, look, another bunch. Come on then, get under waterfall. Where are they? Get away with it. Conveniently located, you can buy flip flops, spare t shirts, and towels from this little look, and ponchos. But I'm telling you now, don't waste your money on ponchos because that ain't going to make a difference. The funniest thing is, right, we've just gone past a, uh, a group of people who we squared and they did not look happy. But I find it absolutely hilarious. So, yeah, for the fifth time, I'm telling you, just walking over towards that Hulk and all that now. So, we'll catch you when we're over there. Just <laughs> 
Look at that little coat you pull around. So we're just in Comic Con Cafe now and we've come in to fill this drink up and Fanta didn't taste very well so we sat here waiting for 10 minutes so we could empty it and fill it back up. And a lovely gentleman called Mike has come over and uh, got us a little cup to fill up and then he's going to fill the drinks up. So a big shout out to Mike over at Comic Con. So we've just got a little Captain America here. Look at the queue for him. This area is so cool though, as much as I'm not really into comics. This is so cool. I bet as a kid, this is. Oh yeah. <clears throat> as a kid, this is the, the jam. The jam, the <laughs> shit. However you want to say it. I'm really trying to uh, mould my vocabulary, so I do apologise to any listeners that, that are uh, not into efforts, but I am trying. But yeah, this area looks sick. Here he comes. He's done Hulk again. I didn't bother. We're at walk on. Uh, yeah, so it's posted at a 40 minute wait, but single radicate we're a walk on. Literally, straight up to a front one guy in front of me. And we're all next one. Uh, if you are obviously single rider, to be honest with you, if there's two of you, you might get in split up. I would definitely, definitely say do a single rider because it is uh, it's well worth it. Yeah, it's well worth it. Um, and like I say, Angela, like I can see from it, it's just it's a 45 minute wave from now. So yeah, so it's in a bunch of time. And you weren't going to come on anyway, so it didn't make no difference. So yeah, we're going to see it walk now. She's ready now at a park. I found this little bag stall. They are cool wound twice. Look at that, that one with green so gold bike. How much is it? Um, that one is 82, so I'm guessing this one will be. Doesn't say free. Oh, it must be free then. We've <laughs> got a freebie, people. <laughs> Look at the yeah, honestly. 82. I'm 82. Well, then you've got all your, uh, your Gryffindor and Slytherins. I mean, I don't think they're lounge fly, but it doesn't make a difference. Uh, you've got another Harry Potter lounge fly here. That one. And then if you come round here, you've got. Um, I like that Jaws one. ET one's pretty cool. Time machine. That one's pretty cool. That is the car of Back to the Future. That's pretty cool. That's $79. Uh, obviously Jurassic Park. Especially the pineapple. Yeah, the pineapple is pretty cool. I hope SpongeBob. And then if you come round here, um, these are like your uh, Comic Con stuff. So apparently these are in sale. So how much is that minion one in sale? Are they? This one? No, well, not yeah, that one. $43. That is a really good price. Minions bag down here. Uh, Dr. Seuss, how much is Dr. Seuss? He's the last one that's left. Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange, sorry, yeah, how much is he? $55, and then this Comic Con one. This one is $56. So yeah, there's some, uh, some nice ones here. Some good bargains to be had. Got Simpsons one down here. That's the whole uh, the Grinch bag that you like. I like this whole bag as well. That's nice. Spider Man, Spider Man line flight, eighty two dollar. So yeah, some good bargains to be had here. Not a, not a bad little standard. This is just as you come in opposite Cinnabon. So yeah, another little star um, on your way out. And I love this platform at nine and three quarters pillar. That is $37 and that would look really good in my gaming room. I've got a thing for pillars. Um, because I've got a gaming room, obviously, just said. <clears throat> and um, on my, I've got a sofa bed as well. And I'm trying to collect pillars from uh, everywhere we go. I mean, that says robes, $139. That's not a robe, and I can't really reach right over there. But some cool pillars there, but I think if I were getting one, I'd, I mean, ideally want a Universal Studios, not a, a nine and three quarter one. So we just need Harry Potter ones, let's see if they work. So, are you ready? Listen to me. Listen to me. Oh, uh, no, it's not working. I'm looking around in the Universal section, and I finally, finally, after like three times looking, I found the t-shirts that I like, so I really like that one. 
and I really really like this one and how much is that? $33 which for t-shirts is a pretty standard price um, maybe five ten dollars a bit more but that is so nice they also do the matching coat which is nice that's pretty nice and then they do the jumper as well in that style but I really do like this style it's like a neon style this will I was gonna buy this t-shirt before we come away so um, mm, very tempted I must say but I am looking for a photo frame for really as gorgeous picture we found one, uh, the classic like, action sign, but it's just not big enough, so uh, we are still on the hunt. So the shop we were just in uh, is called Islands of Adventure Trading, and we have spotted a, I think it's a Christmas shop. So this is called Port of Entry Christmas Shop. Yeah, baby, let's go. I love me a Christmas shop. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine I've been in Christmas shop and to be honest it's no different to um, to what we saw the other day in uh, Walt Disney Studios Walt Disney Studios, I keep saying that Universal Studios so um, we didn't really pick up much I've filmed what we're in shop for but I didn't really have a look at anything so yeah we are uh, now in the Park we're gonna have a walk up to City Walk I think we're gonna eat in NBC Sports Grill aren't we? I think so, if we can get in yeah, yeah um, which I think we should be fine at this time of day because it's 12 13 so everyone will be in parks I would imagine but I might be wrong so um, you're sorry so yeah, um, we're going to head out now, go there, get some food and then head over to Universal Studios. So I'm really excited to go and get some food because I am starving. What I will say is it's been a bit busier today. I mean, we come on Tuesday um, and it was really, really quiet. Now looking at all the wait times, obviously it's getting towards weekend, um, which we'll probably have to get used to because obviously we're here for the next three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Sunday's Mother's Day as well. So I'm expecting it to be busy. Um, we are going to touch wood. I'm going to try and come back for next October. Bad me. Trying going to come back for next October. Um, so that I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing. I mean, obviously, drop me a, a comment below. Like, if, if you've been in October, is it busier if you've been? than if you've been in May. Now, if, obviously, if you've only done one or other, then you're not going to be able to tell me. But I would really like to know, number one, is it busier? Number two, how much busier is it? Because we really, really want to come for Halloween. We'd love to do Halloween Horror Nights at the Universal. We'd love to do Mickey's Not So Scary. Um, I imagine they've been very busy, but obviously um, they're extended hours. So if you've, if you've ever done any of them, Please also let me know down in comments if they're worth doing. Um, can you get on rides? Is the theming worth it? I mean, I've watched some clips of Halloween Horror Nights and the scare zones and everything look amazing. The, the park looks unbelievable. I've not watched that many clips on Mickey's Not So Scary, so it'd be interesting to see if it's actually worth doing. Is it, is it themed? Um, a lot is it at queue times low and everything like that what food outlets are open so yeah if you can drop me a message in comments down below that would be brilliant um, and fingers crossed you get back in October but we've still got a good six seven days to go this time round, and we're really really enjoying it so just uh, just want to mention obviously while I'm rambling that we do appreciate all the love we get on the socials so thank you so much for that um, and we just love taking you along. I mean, last night at Outlets, it was just proof in pudding that we will just take you on our holidays with us. You know, we're not here to um, make anything up. We won't ever go out as well unless we want to, to learn something because this is our holidays and we just love to vlog it to bring you guys along. And obviously we have been a first timer here. Um, 
any tips and tricks that we can pick up and pass on to all the first timers, that's what we're here for. So yeah, we are going to head to City Walk now and we will pick it up with a new NBC Sports Bank. I feel my heart erase, so catch me if I fall. in for a turkey sandwich but they didn't have turkey apparently they've took it off menu so look at that char grill oh it looks nice I say it's chicken and chips and then elia has got something called the french dip so what's that got on it the thinly sliced beef and cheese cheese yeah. sliced beef cheese and, yeah, and alright so go on then gears a whirl looks a bit messy look at that that looks beautiful to be fair Nice. Oh. Right, out of ten, and be be not sillyly high. Eight out of ten. Love where. And then obviously I've got my chicken burger, which if it's any different to a seven or an eight, I'll let you know. But it's just a standard chicken burger. So we're gonna tuck into this now. So that's what Elia's got, and then obviously we've got some refill drinks on it. So I'll go on and try it with dip. Still an eight, or does it bump it up? Lovely, thank you. All good, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, the server come over, but yeah, still sticky with an eight, yeah? Matt of NBC Sports Bar and Grill. What do you think, Leah? Yeah, we're nice. Really nice. So, I took a picture on my phone. I'll try and remember to include it, but I can't guarantee that I will. So, it cost us $55 inclusive of a 21% tip. So, uh, I mean, obviously, I just had a plain chicken burger again. Living off them at the moment, but the beer. And you had the French dip sandwich. French dip sandwich, and I tried a bit of the beef, and it was really, really nice. Uh, so, if I didn't have cheese on it, then uh, I would have, I would have had a bit of that. So, as you can see, I'm just coming past Universal Ball and into Universal Studios. Uh, we're gonna have a good afternoon in here smash out some rides and um, enjoy the sights so we will take you all on wheels people so we decided we we're going to do villain con as we walk past because it's a five minutes which basically means it's a walk on so we will let you know how we get on with this one <laughs> look at inside of this like, there's so much going off it's a massive, massive queue line as well, and it's going to literally be a walk on. So I just thought I'd take a minute to get all this in as we walk through. Like, it's mad. But outside, you could literally queue for hours and hours in that if that queue line was full. But obviously, we're just walking all through it. So I didn't want to miss all of it. And we're in shop, and they've got a Minions uh, lounge fly bag, and this is forty-one ninety-nine. They've got all sorts. Now these are the guns that you use on the game. Uh, obviously, they cost a lot of money. No idea why. They've got loads of phone cases you can personalise. Here's my Evo. How much is that? Leo? That's a full top. It's on side. Twenty-seven. dollars That is pretty cool. Found the MPEG room. Found the MPEG He's not here. Really? And then these uh, Victoria's cups, nine ninety nine. So yeah, this is just in Villacon shop as you come out of the ride. So off now, probably to revive Rocket. There you go. We've got some minion action. There they are, the minions. There we go. It's on a minion wave to me. I am buzzing. But I've got to turn the shout over this because we're they're doing the minion uh, YMCA, which is uh, original. So right in front of us, Rip Ride Rocket. Let's see what weight is on this pop yeah, off Rip Ride Rocket, what do you think? That's a lot. What? That's a lot. What do you think to ride? It's a bit shaky, it's good, but it's a bit shaky and it like throws you about. I think, it. yeah, I think it's because we're on back row because it weren't that bad for me yesterday. Um, but we're just going to go fill those drinks up now, just looking where uh, where fills them up. There's got to be somewhere in this. Oh, yeah, there is. There's a station just over here. 
Um, so we're just having a wander through and we might do Jimmy Fallon next. So uh, yeah, right enjoyed that again. It's different because see, it's weird when you first go up, you're thinking, oh my God. And then it just goes boom. So now, right enjoyed that. Not a big fan of back row, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. So I'm gonna fill this drink up and head to Jimmy Fallon. Wow, look at this. This is all NBC stuff. That's your classic logo. Got old television there. Proper old school television. Tonight starring Jack Parr and obviously I'm guessing Jimmy Fallon's to cover her. I'm guessing this is some of his merch that he's worn. Oh, that's wicked that. And these are people. So yeah, just a note to Jimmy Fallon now. It should be, well it's a 15 minute standby queue so it's not going to be too far off a walk on. So looking forward to this one. So we're just in um, Jimmy Fallon shop after we come out. Obviously they've got all this Jimmy Fallon merch. Um, but as I mentioned earlier, my quest for a pillar. $24.95 Jimmy Fallon pillar It's nice but it's not not what I'm looking for um, They've got $60 for this, this hoodie so they've got obviously all these merch and uh, yeah when we get outside shop I'll, um, I'll give us a review one ride but yeah going out of shop now <coughs> We've just come off Jimmy Fallon as you uh, will see in a previous clip uh, I really enjoyed it I think it's really good I mean being in Orlando, there's a lot more like 3D VR sort of rides than what I've ever been on before. And I really, really am here for it. Like, I really like them. But Aaliyah seems to be getting like motion sickness with her. So, I mean, she's not actually been sick, but she's come off and feeling a bit groggy. So, I'm not sure she's a massive fan of them. And the more she does them, the more she don't like them, it'll put her off them. But um, I've really enjoyed it. It's a different kind of ride. Um, I mean, in theory, it's a roller coaster with VR, but it's nothing like this here. I mean, this is what you call a proper roller coaster. And I don't think it helped that we got back row and rip row, um, rip rocket, sorry, because it does make a big difference being on back row. It shakes you around a bit more. Um, so yeah, really enjoyed it. I mean, thoroughly enjoying this day. I mean, what can you have to bumble up? It's red or maybe too hot. Um, not a cloud, well, yeah, not a cloud in the sky. We're not at work, we're having a mega time ride and all rides, and we're eating some amazing food. So, cannot grumble from me. And I've had a few compliments about my shirt as well, which is obviously Super Mario, so you know what that means, don't you? If we do come back in October next year, Epic Universe will be getting done. You can mark my words on that one if we do come back. So, uh, yeah. Just waiting for it to come back now and then we will move. So we're just walking past Mummy and we've got Blues Brothers on so I'm gonna go and watch these for five and I'll try and get you a bit of footage while I'm there. Oh, oh, oh. Alright ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the Blues Brothers. Now Jake and Elwood is coming down to you. They want everybody to follow them. Follow Jake, follow Elwood, follow the Blues Brothers if you will. We're gonna show you how to shake a tail feather. Come on and shake a tail feather. Yeah, yeah. Come on, do the swim with them.
It's the dark. It's so cool. Hello, dog. Say hello. hello. Say hello to the camera. Hello, camera. We're going to be on YouTube. YouTube? Yeah, what yeah. What kind yeah. of YouTube? YouTube channel. Vlogging. I know, I know. For what? Yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, you're famous, huh? Not quite. Not oh, quite. yes, indeed. So you're from hello. England? From England. Yeah. We're in England. Um, near Sheffield. Sheffield. Yeah. Give me a good shepherd pie there. <laughs> they do, you're right. I know. I've so, been there. Thank you. You're welcome. See you later. Uh, where we've just been sat, Ali has got loads of videos. I'm going to see if I can pop them in. They're going to be in portrait mode, but I'm going to see if I can get them in. We've just been sat around the corner from. Um, Do you know where SpongeBob thing is? Where DreamWorks sounds going where to be. Where DreamWorks, yeah. I think there used to be a cafe or something, but it's shut. Yeah, and that's where all the characters come out. Uh, so we've seen someone from Trolls, someone from Cat in Art, I think it were. Um, Shrek and, Shrek Fiona. and Fiona and then Doc. And then Obviously I've just got a little video with Doc, that was so cool because I loved Back to the Future growing up. So yeah, proper of a moon with that one. We just had to sit down for a bit because it's red hot. Yeah, I but think people don't talk about that in the No, videos, they like, don't. Get some water, sit down for 20 minutes for our day because if not, it's too hot. Yeah, it is too hot if you don't. I mean, it is 36 at minute and he and says it it's... Like and it says it's like six, at least 6 degrees above average, doesn't it? But that is so cool, and Doc is so cool, and Shrek is so cool, and DreamWorks is going to be so cool, yeah. and Epic Universe is just going to be so cool. they have cool. a donkey. Oh, they're going to have a donkey. Can't wait. So, yeah, we're just going to head into Simpsons land now, so uh, let's get some footage. Got a little taco truck here, uh, and I'll just get a picture of my new for you. But... We, when we were looking, you couldn't really find, or there weren't, there weren't that many videos on what there actually is to eat in here, so we're trying as best to get as many as we can. We've got a picture of we uh, La La Donuts as well. It's wicked theming in The Simpsons Land. You've got Krusty Burger on your right, and obviously then you've got Donuts uh, shop. So we're uh, yeah, walking so through, and we're just into a Quickie Mart, so let's see what they've got in here. Oh yeah, so this down here, look, so sometimes, um, like now it's ringing, answer the phone, but I'm not going to answer it today, because we're going into quick in my heart. So let's see what they've got in here. I think we're ringing, but I didn't pick it up. But yeah, you've got obviously all, um, obviously all Simpsons merch, I mean, it's, there's some proper cool stuff in here. It's a nice bag, $65. So um, I'm just having a look around and we can tell I'm a bit red today. Oh, you've actually got a Dove beer. $5.50. Is that for a Dove beer or is that for the can? It's sparkling water. Oh, is it sparkling water? It's sparkling water. Oh my god, slippers. I've been saying, how long I've been saying I need some slippers for? How much are these? $27 for some Dove beer slippers. I bet they're comfy as well. And what's this? Is this a pillow? That is cool as old, well, $30. Oh, I might have to get something in here. I will be right back. So just come out of quick email and I didn't get it because I really wanted this pillar and cushion thing, but as Aaliyah reminded me, I'm not going to get it home. So that's very true. So we didn't end up getting it. So we're just having a walk through here. I might even play one of these arcade games. I'm feeling it. Yeah, we'll see. Just bear we're with Just heading into Men in Black Shop. Beautiful air con as you're walking in. It is truly magical. Oh yeah, that is magical, isn't it? Oh, let's see what merch they've got in This here. is why it's good to check in every shop, because we've seen some merch that I've not seen in any. So Back to the Future, oh dear, that's $45. Uh, 
we've got this Back to the Future bag, this is the one that I showed you earlier, but that's what it looks like. That's cool. And then you've got like a little handbag. Album by Line Fly, they're nice. And then round here, Elias seen some it. Oh, that's nice. Out of time. How much is it? Twenty-seven dollars. That's not bad, is it? Got a few bits, a few Back to the Future pins here. And they're all nine ninety-nine a pin. So yeah, there's some cool stuff in here. Loving. Uh, oh, look at these prints as well. So I've just seen him. Five hundred seventy-five dollars. Loving it in here. Cool stuff. Cool, cool. So Elias just found a wicked t-shirt. It's called Pug Shots. And anybody that knows us knows we got a French bulldog called Winston. And we love our dogs. So that's cool. How much is that? I'm guessing the same. That is I'm covering up with my finger. $27. And then you got for $17 you got an actual pug, pug puppet or whatever you call them. Oh, are you my Uber? Love that. I need, ah, oh, classic. I need some space. Loads of, I'm loving, I love a good dad joke, me. They're pretty cool. A kind of face only a mother could love. Aww, yeah, that is so true. How much is that? The same price, $27. $27, bargain. Yeah, some cool merch in here. And so for the second time, oh my god, there's a hole in the wall. Diagonale. Now, this is the time to look in all the shops. So straight into quality Quidditch supplies we go. like um, three shops linked into one so the one we just went in is through that door down there and then you've got the candy shop which is up here they don't you think this is a mad shop or yeah there's just so much to look at in there that is crazy there's like three floors and then there's even some in room what's that and it's got air con but look at that it's even got stuff in room it's mad this shop Madder than a box of frogs. Just to give an example, t-shirt, $37. So it's not cheap once you come into uh, Diagon Alley. But it's cool. Stop is Madam Mathkins, or however you pronounce it. In we go. Got loads of bags in here. They've got some uh, Malfoy, Jiggery, Potter, and these are 94, 95. How much? That is pricey. Got a little trying to check herself out in the mirror. Oh, we got a little. I just want to get an idea of what prices are. So, a little love art bag. Oh, that one's been ripped off. $82 for that. I mean, it might be worth it to some people, but not to me. That dress is pretty cool. But yeah, another cool Harry Potter shop with a lot of very, very expensive stuff in it. So we're just in clip Q for Florent Fortescue's ice cream parlour because it's about 9 million degrees. And we're going to get an ice cream out of it because it's... What is it? Might be. So yeah, we're just going in queue now. I've heard they're really nice in here as well. That's probably why we're queuing. There's a queue all the way down here. It's not that 
but um, yeah, I'm gonna get a queue now. We've just got two ice creams from Warrior Post Tesco's Ice Parlour. Uh, we come to $15.95. Yeah. yeah, for two hard ones. What do you think to it? Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. So we're going to tuck into these now and we'll let you know if they So we're just fresh from his ice cream. And we're just going to have a walk through these little alleys. That one's locked, so we're not going through that one. But we'll have a look through this one. Belarus, range wanted. It's a bit dark in here. Have a look in here. What we got in here, really? Uh, it's on a slant inside, I don't know. Right, I'll pick it back up. We got this Deathly Aloe's top. That is $37. And the mug to match is $21. And that's the mug. We've got loads of, <coughs> loads of wicked uh, t shirts in here. We've got it's pretty dark and dingy. I'll just show you around. and you've got these Hogsmeade t-shirts. These are $30. Just a plain print. Same price for a um, Diagon Alley one. And then, well, we've got a uh, Reese Moto Bads. Some of these shops are wicked. They've all got different things in them, though. That's what I like about it. Okay, so this one's got like a, looks like a bank note, but it's a purse. And that is thirty dollars. Got little luggage tags. They're twenty dollars. And so on and so on. So yeah, some pretty cool merch we're in Diagon Alley. We're just heading out of uh, Diagon Alley for the second time. What are your thoughts after you've seen it all? I really like it. Yeah. Cool, like, isn't it? I've never been into Harry Potter and things like that, but I can appreciate it. it's so cool. Yeah. And the detail, like when we walk through the alleyways, you weren't looking, but like, if you look in the windows, like, in all the shops, like, the shop, like, pictures are interactive with the room. Yeah. Just so cool. I don't think we've ever seen No. No, it is really cool. <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to stop my sunglasses out. Uh, so we're uh, we're going to head to exit at Park now. We've been up since quarter to seven again, haven't we? Now we've been up since half seven. That's how delirious I am. And um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's been a long day. <laughs> I'm really tired. Um, and to be fair, we could eat again. So we're going to uh, go back to bus. Like, yeah, bus sort of like station here. So, there's a shuttle back to our hotel at 5. Um, 5, 6, 25 or 8. 5, 6, from Universal. So, we're going to go and get that. Um, and I think last few days has just caught up. We, has, like, we had a bit of a chill day yesterday, but it wasn't even really a chill day. It was supposed to be, but we still ended up doing like 15,000 steps. That will be out the water park steps. Though. Oh, yeah, sorry, that's our water park steps. So, we probably did about 17. Probably 18 thou. So, um, yeah, like I said, we're just heading out now. Um, we are, once we get back to the hotel, we'll make a decision whether we're going to go straight for food or whether we um, 
have a half an hour or so now and um, then go out. We're going to uh, Outback Steakhouse tonight, so that should be nice. Are these the drummer guys? Um, oh, we've got some drummers going off. Matt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The scaffolding people. Yeah, you can hear them from the other side of the street. Well, it's been a mega day, hasn't it? And we were going to come back here tomorrow, but I think we've decided that we're going to do Ep Cardio. So we're going to do morning in Epcot till about one, two o'clock, and then we're going to do Disney Springs. Definitely said nine. But um, we, I want to pick up some on clouds, like I kept mentioning about sixty times yesterday, and I know they definitely sell them there. So I'm just going to have to pay full price. But I know they do them, and I want some new night running shorts as well. So. Yeah, that's where we're going tomorrow, and um, so early night is on the cards because it'll be an half seven, half seven bus in the morning, won't it? And I think, well, yeah, I put the seven thirty-five bus in Disney. Yeah. So you want me to hear me in a minute? So we're going to get past this, and then we'll pick it up the other side. So we're just walking back to back to bus as we said, and I just want to mention that like walking through City Walk, it's such a cool walk, isn't it? Yeah. Um, obviously, if you're looking for Voodoo Donut, which everyone raves about, that's where it is. It's opposite. Um, it's opposite. No, it's next to. Um, what's that called again? Oh, NBC Sports Grill Brew. Um, Panda Express is up there as well. Uh, there's a big Universal store on your way out, so you can always. Um, Always, if you've missed out or anything like that, you can always call in there and get it. At least just nicking ice as usual. She loves nicking ice. She got this thing with putting it on her wrist. It cools you down, she says. No, oh, she's dropped it. Game over. But yeah. So there's loads to do around here. It's, it's completely different to Disney Springs. It's more adult vibes. Like it's more it's adult. There's more night. food and more drink. Yeah, whereas Disney Springs is food and shopping. Yeah, food, drink and shopping. Um, so, no, we really enjoyed this day again in here. We will be back before we go, even if it's just for half a day, maybe even a full day. But I've thoroughly enjoyed it, it's been mega. Um, there's so, a few rounds that I want to do. Yeah, there's a couple I want to do the water Jurassic one. Jones. I want to do the mummy. And she wants to do Hulk. Not decided yet, TBC. TBC. <laughs> TBC. But um, yeah, so as I mentioned, I'm just going to get a bus back now. So five o'clock, it is now half, half four. four. Um, so plenty of time. It is a, if you're stopping at Avanti International, it is a first come first serve on way back. There's no pre-booking needed. And um, so yeah, we're, tonight, obviously we'll get back. Might chill for 10 minutes, then we're going to go to Outback Steak. And depending on what, because obviously, we have a budget each day and we stick to that budget so depending on what funds are left we might, I haven't even mentioned this to Alia but I'm feeling like we might have a later trip down to uh, Pirate Cove Golf depending on what money's left because we'll be back early so yeah we will let you know once we know what we're doing so catch you guys in a bit so what, one last note from us so if you're heading down um, the, to the bus station um, from obviously City Walk to get to Avanti International you'll come down you'll see this sign that's where all normal buses are and where you go to Volcano Bay but then we turn down here where the yeah this is where paupers go and then where these people are here I'm guessing is our bus so this is it so <clears throat> we've just um, had a lie down for about 25 minutes and um, it was much needed weren't it and we've decided we better go out now because if we don't go out now we won't go out at all because <laughs> we're both just sat on bed trying to go on his phone and just falling asleep and I'm, we're just absolutely knackered today <clears throat> and this is like the real side I believe of like a Florida holiday if you hammer it you know like not everything on our channel is going to be happy and smiley like Disney is portrayed because I think we're not staying on site either so we're out at our 
half seven yeah. in the morning and we're not back until late. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of days where we've been up at quarter seven and back at Asleep by half, 12. Well, yeah, half ten at night. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're heading up now to Outback Steakhouse. We're just having a walk. If you're interested, you go out of our hotel, turn right and walk for about five minutes. So uh, next time you see us, we'll be uh, up at Outback. Catch you. There was once a day that I would pray for you. I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too. Sneaking looks up and down from across the room. And damn, what a hell of a view. I feel good. You look great, I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time, to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall That is posted at $34.99. I think that's good. It is. And then I've gone for a centre cut. I was going to do the same as Aaliyah, but I'm just going to have some real lobster. So I've gone for a centre cut 8 ounce fillet, which was $31.99. And my two sides are fries and rice. And then we've got two uh, two refill drinks, I presume, presume they're refill drinks. Yeah. So when it comes, we'll obviously do a standard taste test, and then when Bill comes, we'll, we'll show how much it is. Right, so Leah's steak and lobs just come out. Do you want to try and cut a little bit of each one out? No, lobster does look banging like. Get in there, there we go. You got a bit of shell in there. Mm. Nice? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a bit of steak. Right. And what would you give that lobster out of 10? Like an 8. Nice. Mm. Nice. The smile. And what would you give that one? Of a tan. That is really good. Right, okay. I'm just going to pause okay. this and then I'm going to let Aaliyah show him mine. So I've got a little bit of Aaliyah's lobster. Yeah, that was good. I'll give that a good 8.5 out of 10. And then I'll put a tiny bit of steak on. Good steak in it. Very tasty. Very soft and. Give that a nine. Mm. Give that a nine. So, yeah, beautiful. We're going to tuck in there. So, we have just been to Outback and um, overall review I'm going to do um, out of 10, I will give it a nine. I think it was very, very good. Food were good. Service were probably the best service we've had so far. Mm -hmm. uh, so, big shout out to Cody on iDrive. He were really, really good. Yeah. Uh, total price inclusive of tip was $95 um, so you know it's it's not cheap but it's not mega expensive I've had a fillet, I've had a, fillet two, a centre cut fillet sides. by the I've, way I've you've had a centre cut fillet and a lobster a lobster tail and two sides yeah. and two refill drinks yeah exactly um, and the steak were really, really good. Like, we both ate every bit of it. Yeah. Like, there were no fat on it at all. And one thing I will say as well, what I love about America is, you pay $3.75, so call it $4 after tax, and you get unlimited refills on drinks. Yeah. It, when you're in the UK, if you're in a steakhouse, you're probably paying four quid for a Coke, and that's it. And then another four quid for another Coke. So that's one thing about America that I think is absolutely brilliant. 
But overall, would we go back? I'd go back. Yeah. yeah. I think we've both decided on this trip though, because we've got Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night. So we've got six nights left. In them next six nights, we're going to probably try another steakhouse and it'll either be Longhorn or Saltgrass because both of them are on a doorstep, aren't they? Yeah, Saltgrass is a bit close. So yeah, it is. Um, I think that's a bit more expensive. But I do Longhorn. fancy a Saltgrass though. I've heard a it lot of people amazing, rave. It's as if they like cook it on coals and stuff. Yeah, and that's what I like. That, I think that's the main difference with all the chicken sandwiches that they have over here. Is like the flame grill. The, yeah, they're literally flame grill and the charcoal grill them. Like I think it's brilliant and I think that's why they taste so juicy and you just get that little burnt taste as well don't you? So yeah, um, I think that's all from us tonight. We're going to head back now, get a shower and have an early night. It's still half seven so by the time we get to and whatnot. Yeah. We're up early in morning we've got 7.35 bus service. Yeah, so we'll put quarter to seven again in the morning. So uh, not really sure up until now um, how long this, this video is going to be for today. Um, we feel like we've done still quite a lot, but... I think we've done more exploring in the park today. So yeah. Like, we've not done loads of rides in Universal. No. But we've explored loads and like looked around and got loads of pictures and stuff like that. Yeah. It's just we, been a... We were going to spend the day doing. Yeah, exactly. It's just been a crossing T's kind of day, on not Yeah, it? there is a... We probably will go back for another day because a few things need to box off. Well, there's just, we just want to go back because we like it. But, um, yeah, so I think it's a good time to call it. So, thanks for watching uh, today. Um, obviously, if you've got this far, really, really appreciate it. We don't take it for granted because at the end of the day, we're just filming our holidays. But um, if you would please do us a solid. One minute, Valentino Ross is going by. Um, yeah, so like subscribe share and all that jazz thank you for watching and we will see you in the next vlog ciao ciao i got nightmares in my head i fear that the thoughts build up until i can't hear that my mind fills up into a creep